Hey guys. guys! Welcome back to Style Curious YouTube channel. I'm Namuna and I'm Summer. Welcome, Welcome back. back. So today, so today we're gonna talk about another serious issue, like how we always serious. do. Summer is here. That means we have to take off our long sleeves, long mm. pants. Say no, bye to them. I'm not ready for that. I'm not ready to <laughs> because because. Chick is good. <laughs> because of I think because skin. of our fat. <laughs> yeah. Mostly because of our fat, but also because of our skin problem. Yeah. So today we're going to talk about chicken skin. But what is chicken skin? Like exactly what it is? So chicken skin is called Pivity Pivity Poo. Pyrosis Pilaris. <laughs> yeah, so everyone be like, what is that? <laughs> what is that? It's, you're making it even harder! <laughs> so it looks like a ghost bomb and it can be red or brown or even dark. It depends on your skin tone actually mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and your skin type. Yeah. Some people have them on their thighs so they call them like strawberry legs because yeah. they look like strawberry. <laughs> it can also appear on other areas like your arms, yeah. your butt, your peaches. It's it's not actually harmful for your skin mm -hmm. or other uh, uh, diagnosis <laughs> you have, yes. but it's just every like a lot of a lot of adults or even teenagers have the chicken bumps. So what what actually causes the chicken skin is that it's because of uh, too much keratin mm. built up on your skin. So if keratin generate too much on your skin and block your it can block your skin cells and that can cause chicken bumps at the end. Mm -hmm. uh, especially during the winter, uh, your skin gets really dry. So that's why chicken chicken bumps can be generated that like more than ever. Oh. Sounds scary. <laughs> but now we're preparing for the summer. It's the time we can uh, reduce the chicken bumps right now. Yes, yes. But how do we cure the chicken bumps? It's Corona time, so we cannot go see a doctor or dermatologist. But here we have some home remedies you can yeah. try at home to cure or treat your chicken bumps. Even though there is no treatment for it, mm -hmm. but it's okay because you can try to reduce them using like certain products or some certain methods. Uh, so when I was in high school, I think Asian especially, we're mm -hmm. all wearing uniforms in the school. But the shirt is really short, so we can see all the chicken bumps there. Yeah, but no. especially when you're in teenage, uh, because of hormone, I think mm -hmm. there were more chicken bumps. So like everyone's uh, concern was chicken bumps at that moment. Oh. So uh, one of my one of my friends went to see a dermatologist, and he said you need to take ex extra care of. Of your skin when you uh, take shower because uh, after your shampooing, if you don't uh, wash wash it off mm -hmm. on this part or like back or like everywhere, because shampoo is quite strong and especially if you use shampoo with silicone, they can blow your skin cells. So it can cause like oh. acne or like bumps, everything. When you first showering, uh, you have to. Uh, make sure if your upper arms or back are clean from shampoo. And then I did that after I heard that it's because of all the shampoo things. So I actually experienced chicken bumps are gone right now because I do make sure like every time, oh well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, there could be residues from your shampoo so you have to make sure just like if it's clean or yeah. not. So we're gonna talk about it like home remedies and you can try them at home. Of course, it's not for every skin type, but these are like general tips and tricks where you yeah. can try. First of all, you need to take a warm bath instead of super hot shower or baths. No, but hot shower is the best thing ever. <laughs> Sorry to tell you, but that is over now. <laughs> Say bye because summer is also coming. Mm -hmm. Taking warm bath can loosen the pores and unclog your pores. So it's good if you use like a little brush to rub your skin, like do a little exfoliate moment and clean your dead skin cell while you shower. Also, don't take bath too, too long because <laughs> it will interrupt the natural oil in your skin mm. and loosen your natural oil mm -hmm. in your skin. So staying in the bathroom too long is not really great. It's not good. Like oh. we know we have like, you know, problems that we like to think when we shower, yeah. but 
You can also do them after shower. <laughs> That's so. true. <laughs> okay, let's do the meditation instead of that. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so we have some product for you guys. Rose Moisturizing Daily Body Wash from Isn't Tree. So this product contains three rose-derived ingredients which can remove the dead skin cells and prevent moisture evaporation during shower. Mm -hmm. So I've been trying this for like a while and oh. to be honest, it's really moisturizing because mm -hmm. normally when I use like any kind of body wash, my body oh. gets really dry because I have a really bad dry skin. However, this one, I'm guaranteeing it's really moisturizing and it smells like rose so it's really nice okay <laughs> i want to try right now <laughs> oh you should <laughs> i mean i'm in love with body care for now, oh, yeah. but i didn't know isn't it has one body wash <laughs> yeah so maybe next time when we have employee purchase yes. <laughs> i'm yes. gonna get one <laughs> moving on to the next part yay so this one is obvious, very important. You have to not to miss it. We talk about this every time. Yeah. Exfoliate your skin. I cannot right now. <laughs> so like what we said, um, daily exfoliation is really important because mm -hmm. it can remove the dust cell on your skin. Also clear all those dusty, musty parts on your skin and clean that pore. So yeah, you should also do that for your body skin, not just your face. Mm -hmm. If you have chicken bumps especially, that means you have a lot of sebum even on your body. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, you must take care of your body skin as well. What we have for product? So this product is really, really special. It is from Beijing. This is actually an amazing product. Like, I didn't notice like until we opened the cap, right? <laughs> and we smelled it. It's just like Yeah, it's just coffee. coffee. Hmm, are we in Kenya already? <laughs> <laughs> so this product is correcting exfoliator from Basic. This product is completely vegan because the company especially made coffee powder with sucrose which is acid. This is a completely vegan version of scrubs. And this contains an antioxidant ingredients and vitamin E in, in coffee inside. So this can help the dead skin cells and keep the skin smooth. Ooh. Yeah, I really love basic products oh, because really? of their like how natural the ingredients are and the the scents. You know, you know, I'm I'm crazy about body care mm -hmm. products, and that's because of the all the scents. You know, from body uh, care products. Yes, yes. I mean, if you if you just have a like facial skincare products, they usually they usually don't have the fragrance inside. Mm -hmm. The body care products have like must have the that's true fragrance. That's what I was you know, right? Because mm -hmm. you can feel like relaxing. And we have another product for you guys, which is it's also a body scrub and this. Body Body scrub actually clean the dead skin while giving moisturize to your skin. It contains natural ingredients such as avocado oil, shea butter, sweet almond oil, and mm -hmm. tea tree. So any skin type is welcome to use. After exfoliation, you actually need to try um, moisturizing your skin with body lotion. So body lotions that contain glycerin can promote cell turnover mm -hmm. so which is um, good for like after exfoliation moisture care they can um, soften the bumps and reduce the bumps and you should just apply it like generously don't be shy put it generously <laughs> so that your body can have the hydration they need you have to make sure your uh, skin is not dry at all yes yes from derma bay this one is actually really popular in Korea. You can see them everywhere, everywhere like in cosmetic shops mm -hmm. like Olivia. So this one, it contains glycerin, shea butter, panthenol ingredients and they can hydrate the skin and soften the bumps like what I said earlier. And the most important part is that it's not sticky at all. So yeah so that's why it's really popular for korean moms they want to you know get their russian to their babies i mean even smell so, it good. so good yeah like it smells just like baby lotion yeah exactly <laughs> and then we have another product which is calming body mist from nard this product contains aha which we mentioned like hundreds of times <laughs> aha so please 
Chemistry if you don't know HAA and what other chemical explains are, please check out our previous video. So this uh, common body mist ha contains HAA which is great for removing the skin cells, especially for outer layer of skin. As we mentioned a lot of time, AHA is really great for removing the skin cells on the surface of the skin which can also help to treat Keratosis pilaris. How do we use it? The way you use this is um, after showering, before moisturizing, you just put it all over your trouble areas and it can do their work. You can exfoliate using those magical ingredients. Yeah. And it smells awesome. Again, mm -hmm. awesome body product. <laughs> we don't like the texture of the lotion or the mm -hmm. gel type of body care product. You can definitely use body mist because it's so easy to just like spray, spray, spray. <laughs> so last but not least, um, the tip that we want to tell you guys is that stop wearing tight clothes. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> tight clothes really can cause friction, and friction means irritation. So yeah, not good, you know. I mean, wearing it once a week or twice is okay, mm -hmm. but just don't wear it every day because your skin needs some air, you know? These are everything we have for our chicken bobs. Hope you like our tips and tricks. And if you have any other skin concerns or if you have any, any other questions or opinion on our videos, <laughs> we need them. Yeah, please let us know in the comment box. We will get to you and we will see you next time. Bye! Bye. Bye.